afternoon. Um, it's, it's not always like this. It's always like a rock concert, but that was incredible. My name is Jason. I'm the director of the show. So. And for those of you who may not know, that was our last performance on Broadway. So and I want to indulge us just a minute to say some thank yous and a few words. You know, this is an incredible family. That's why emotions are running high for us up here. Because we've been together, for most of us, for two and a half years, workshopping this from workshops to Chicago to now. So it's an incredible journey for us, and we're glad that we get to share this final day with you. I mean, so a, a few quick thank yous. I promise this will be fast. Most importantly, thank you to our audience and our fans. <laughs> Everyone got their steps in for the day. <laughs> that was incredible. We do this for you. We don't do this just for ourselves. We really do it for you. So thank you for that. Thank you incredible, for our incredible, amazing, supportive producers, Bodie Suarez, Jeffrey Seller, and the one and only Cher. Thank you, thank you, Jeffrey and Bodie, for supporting us, bringing us together, your incredible, intelligent collaboration, and for your friendship. And of course, to the one and only Cher for sharing her life and her experience. Thank you to our incredible design team, our scenic team, uh, Christine and Brett and Mary and all their associates, Kevin and Lighting, Daryl and Projections, Nevin and Sound, uh, and of course, the legendary and now Tony Award winner, Mr. Bob. <laughs> Team Sarah and Brian and Joe. Now, there's a lot of people that make musicals happen. It takes a real village, and that's why I want to actually start with our dressers and our wig people. Please bring them out here. Backstage, but there's a lot of costumes, you guys. 683 costumes, 3,500 pieces, 6.5 million, million feathers. There's over 400 quick changes, some as short as 12 seconds. And these guys pull it off brilliantly every night. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring out the rest of the crew our props crew, our carpenters, our electricians, our follow spot operators. Please come out and join us. Don't be shy. Even if you think you're not dressed for it, come on out. Come on out. <laughs> I mean, come on. Everyone should get to feel what it feels like to be Cher or Stephanie or Michaela or Uh There's I mean, our incredible PSM team, our stage management team, Michelle, Tiffany, Haley, and Johnny. Come on out if you can, although they need to stay back there for safety. And of course, the great Michael Pissarro and Frank Lombardi, who also guided us here today. Now, you're looking at most of the people, at least who are in the building today, who are on the stage that help us, but there's a whole bunch of people out here that help us. Our house staff, Judy, everyone in the front of the house, our security team. I see you guys moving quickly down the aisles to keep people from taking their phones out. We are deeply grateful and thank you for the joy that you bring to us as well. The other people you don't see behind the scenes are company managers, Ro, Andrew, our incredible office staff, everyone at Baseline, Maggie, Andy, Nick. We're very grateful for all that you do for the show. You, 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 give it, you keep us going and we're very grateful for that. Uh, for casting, Bernie and Pat, Neil Mazzella, and everyone who built the sets. It's just an incredible group that make, brings us together. Now, I have a few more people up on stage. We're almost to the end here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Daryl Waters and his incredible music team. Dan <laughs> Waters, Daryl also did all the orchestrations, and this orchestra down here, and they're going to play something. This is like, it's like a block party down there. There's a lot of standing and dancing and throwing of things, and we're really grateful for that. Thank you guys. 
So thank you, Daryl. Uh, Mr. Chris Catelli, our choreographer. <laughs> Associates Mark and Christina and my associate Travis. I mean, you make coming to work every day so fun and I'm deeply grateful for you. I thank you for showing us all the many thousands of things that you can do. Uh, we're all here mostly because of the brilliant, dark, dirty, wonderful, giving mind of Mr. Rick Ellis, our book writer. Rick's going to say a little song. seen by dozens more people who couldn't be here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a short story. A short story. <clears throat> Four years ago, excited at the prospect of escaping a dreary New York summer, sort of like today, I went to meet uh, with Cher in California to discuss the possibility of doing a show. I, I hopped on a plane, and six hours later, weary, and travel stained. I found myself at the door of an impressive Morocco estate in Malibu. <laughs> and what seemed, after what seemed like a cliche, the door swung open. An assistant showed me into a waiting room. Oh, sorry, waiting room. Waiting room. A waiting room. That's the difference between writing and acting. <laughs> Finally, I was called in. Cher eyed me carefully. And then she looked at my face. For hours, we talked about her life and her career and how a girl who was shy and afraid of people would grow up to become a goddess warrior. You've heard something about that. <laughs> I was tempted, of course, but what really made me jump at this opportunity was the generous advance that she offered. <laughs> One billion dollars. <laughs> and that's how it all started for me. And as we know, in the theater, everything ends. But this, this does not end. The collective strength and the glory of this gorgeous group up here is why I asked Jason to hand me the mic. Because whether you've never missed a performance or whether you got injured and had to miss performances, whether you're my brother in arms for the last 12 years, or whether we found you fresh out of high school. <laughs> whether you won the Cheetah Rivera Award for Best Dance Tony Award for Best Actress in the We recognize this cast is to save the best for last. Yeah. I got to do that. <laughs> These wonderful people are the beating heart, the bleeding feet, and the sore throats, and the extraordinary talents at the center of our circle. And they're a Heroic clutch of artists. Heroic. They say when you fall in love for real, it's like getting your foot caught in the door. You're acutely aware of how much you feel. You don't want it to end. You just want more. Well, this is love. And it has been since day one. You've given so much over this too brief, too brief a run. And everyone on stage, backstage, fore and aft, you've held it together with sweat and craft. You've made it soar with so much heart. But you, people, play the crucial part. Because you, the audience, 
make it art. Thanks for coming. And that's what we call a segue here at Captain My Captain. I told the guys before the show I talked about them, and I love you all so much. I also want to thank SJB and Teal, Michaela, and Dee, our shares for being our leaders. And also to Emily and Ashley and all the other women in the company who taught us dudes what it's like to live in a woman's world, and also how kick-ass and hopeful the woman's world will be in the future. Thank you. That's the greatest honor that I've taken away from you. Uh, we want to honor the real people. A lot of these characters are based on real people, many who aren't with us. We thank them for their generosity as well. Um, you know, closing is bittersweet. Like we said, we shared this closing day with our colleagues and friends at King Kong and Pretty Woman. So shout out to them. But today is about celebrating this accomplishment. You know, it all starts with a dream, whether it's Floaty's dream to do the show to begin with or Rick's dream of how it began. We all started with the dream. That's why Cher, the one thing she always talked about was wanting that story to be in at the, at the beginning of the show, about how when she went to see at Grom's Chinese Theater, Cinderella, she learned the words to how a dream is a wish your heart makes, and she found her voice. She found her dream. And you know, Grom's Chinese is where you put your feet in the ground, and you put your hands in the ground, you write your name, and you leave your mark there. Now, a lot of those people at Grom's are famous people, but you do not have to be a famous person to leave your mark on the theater. You do not have to be a Tony Award winner, though it's nice to leave your mark in the theater. Everybody gets to leave your mark on the theater, and that's true for you guys too. Whether you're lovers of the musical theater or the theater, or it's your first time here. Is anybody's first time at a Broadway show? Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Then, then we're doing something right. Okay, good. Um, everybody gets to leave their mark on the theater today, so plant your feet in the ground, put your hand on something, Grab your hand if someone that loves you and say thank you for making your mark. Thank you for the honor of being here. Think about the space that we share with all the people who came before. And also think about now we make space for the people who come after us. We're very grateful for that. So have faith in your dreams, even if you're grieving. And keep on believing. Thanks, everybody.